Hey everybody, it's Greg Christensen at Grandview Grain and Livestock. Hey, I was out here and uh, just put a little hay out here in the snow. And I thought it's a good chance to show you how we uh, build these solar chargers and how they work here. This is uh, about 140 acres and this uh, electric fence goes around the perimeter of it. Oh, I don't know, about 12 inches say off the ground. Um, and this is a solar charger that powers the fence all the way around. Um, you can see the solar panel is actually the lid of this box that holds the charger and the battery. Um, looks like this box has been invaded by uh, a squirrel or something, but uh, it wasn't in there now. I've checked it under there. Um, but we need to repair that. Here, I'll open this box and then I'll show you what's inside. All right, there you go. So now I lifted the solar panel off, tilted it up, it's just hinged in the back. And then we have the charger. This is a Taylor uh, Cyclops. It's 16 joule stored energy, 12 joule output energy. And I, I like these chargers real well. This is the biggest charger that I've come across that's a DC charger and that's what you need for these solar chargers. Um, here you go is the battery and then the controller that keeps the battery from getting overcharged on sunny days uh, like today we finally got some sun here so that solar panels putting a lot of juice into that battery once it gets up to uh, I don't know if it's 13 volts or wherever it'll It'll shut it down, I won't let it overcharge. And these things, folks, they just they just keep working. Um, you know, unless your battery goes dead, um, really nothing much goes wrong with them. These fence chargers have two fuses in this, one in each side. Occasionally you might get a blow fuse. Uh, we keep fuses on hand, but uh, you know, that's not even very often, but if the lightning would happen to strike it, uh, the, it'll blow that fuse. It, you don't have to have a lightning arrestor on them. They have a arrestor built into these chargers. Um, Alex Taylor, if you call Taylor Fencing and talk to uh, the guy that answers the phone is Alex. And, and sometimes I just tell him my fencers quit and explain it to him and he can send me a, a part. And I take it apart and put it put a panel in it, put a transformer in it, whatever there is. They're real accommodating, real easy to work with, and I like them real well. So people have asked me what kind of chargers I, I like. I like these real well. I've got other ones. i got a stay fixed charger at home. It's a fine charger. Um, but I'd sure take a look at these Taylor Fence chargers. Um, they're well-built, American-made charger. And uh, I think you'll find them less expensive than some of the other chargers, but they're, they're very good charger. Well, that's our solar charger here. Um, again, the, the regulator, voltage regulator, the controller, and the uh, panel goes into the controller, the wires from the panel goes into the controller, then wires come out of the controller, go to the battery, and then you hook your charger to the battery. Is it, that's the way I do it. So this is Greg Christensen. Just wanted to give you a little tip there on how to build you a more powerful uh, charger to, on bigger acreage than what you might be able to find at your local farm store. Thanks for watching. If you uh, find this interesting and like it, well, hit subscribe and leave me a message. Thanks. Bye.